Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor. And today I've got a really fun asset for you to try, which is completely free. And this is called the whiteboard asset. And you can add one to your game and you can draw on it with different colors, erase. It uses a raycast and render textures to be able to create this illusion of being able to draw and manipulate what's on the screen. I'm going to show you how to use it, set it up, and maybe you could use it for your game too, because I think it's really fun to have a look at. I think we could play a funny game. I want you to all download this and create the best picture that you can and share it with me in the comments and the best one I'll put in the community tab for everybody to bask in its glory. And just to mention, the fabulous developer who created this free asset is actually creating his own game. I'm not getting paid or anything to do this, but you can check out Airport X-Ray Simulator and wishlist it on Steam to help him out because he's given this asset for free and it's a really cool one. So if you navigate to his website, you can see that you can wishlist the game or you can get the whiteboard asset. You can click here to download the package. And as you can see in the instructions, all you need to do is download it, navigate it to the whiteboard folder once you've imported it in, and then find the prefab. So you just want to drag the Unity package into your current project, and then you just want to drag this whiteboard asset out into your scene. It does come with its own player character, but if you've got one already like me, it's perfectly fine to use what you've got. Do remember, if you try and run this and you are using the new input system, you need to go to Edit, Project Settings, Go to player and make sure you have the active input handling as both because it does use the older input system so it might be something that you need to update in the future you could take a look at the whiteboard in itself and it's set up with a picture that's going to appear for the first time it uses a render texture and some sprites for the brushes and the erasers you can set the brush size and settings you can set which colors you expect to have and any of the markers which are going to be on screen so if I select one of them, you can see these are the markers that make up the actual objects in the screen. And as you can see, there's an interaction distance, a rag which resets the whole board, and then hover and other marker smoothing sensitivities. Do be aware that when you're near this board, it does use a raycast system, so be careful if there's any other colliders in the way. But you can see, we can see the original texture that's on it, and you can change this in the setting. You can start drawing on it with the pen that you've got. You've got something like an eraser here, which you can start rubbing things away you could select the different colors and draw things on there and you can even rub away the original texture that was on there there's even the clear button which will get rid of everything altogether and because i'm a beautiful artist look you can see we'll, we'll attempt to draw a beautiful tree like this while you're looking at this fun asset be sure to check out my Patreon to get over 225 different scripts, assets and projects. And I've got all the links down below for the summer sale and all the best bundles that you can find for this very moment. And we want a nice little river running through our scene. Something like that. We best tell people that this thing is a tree. then you can sit back and admire your artwork. What more could you want? As I say, you can replace this first image by clicking it here. You can just see it's a sprite 2D and UI. Remember, it does use a render texture, which does remember what you have used before. And you can set the different size and the resolution if you want to make this a little bit smaller and a little bit more manageable for your game. It could work in VR, but I don't think the developers tested it in there. You can take a look at the script and you can see that it's um, built with a render texture. It's got all the different settings. It's the initializing the render texture and you're checking what markers that you have, setting the sizes, doing a raycast to detect your input and using the UV coordinates to draw between, which is a method which is called between the UV and depending on which marker that you've got, that you can do it. And if you'd use specific things, it's going to clear the render texture and it's got various checks to be able to draw into the shader to be having a custom draw shader here. The developer does admit that a lot of this was written by ChatGPT to get this together so it does admit that it may need some optimizing along the way as i said it uses the mesh collider and the triangles to be able to convert this to be used properly so it's something that you might want to take and this is suitable for used for anything at all you can use it for any reason modify it in any way you can and i think it would be great for you to share it with the developer and let him know what you've changed what you've used it for and how you can make it look awesome yourself and like i said be sure to check out this developer's 
airport x-ray simulator give it a wish list and maybe give some feedback on what you think about it and how it can be improved because it's all about helping people be the best that they can be so do be sure to check out all the links down below for all the best sales because it's the summer sale and there's some new massive environmental bundles from hilarity studio on humble bundle and in their official bundle as well and do be sure to check out my patreon too to get over 225 different scripts assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else big thank you to all my patrons special thank you to peter steiner and very shooter for their amazing support and thank you to everybody else for coming to watch don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers